Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to change Windows uh, SQL Server authentication modes using Windows history. Okay, so why I am giving this demo is I will tell you the situation where I landed into trouble. So one of my client has given me instances to uh, take the database backup and uh, okay to restore another instance. When I came to know that I don't have an sysadmin permissions and I cannot able to take the database backup and client is also don't know how to I mean who has a having admin credentials the previous admin has left the organization so now I have two scenarios one I need to create the SA password uh, by uh, taking the SQL server into uh, minimal configuration mode or single user mode and after that we need to create the uh, SQL server login uh, okay and we need to log in but even though we created SQL Server login, we are unable to connect. Why? Because SQL Server is in Windows authentication mode. Even though you create SA authentications, it doesn't matter. You are unable to cut unless unless you change the Windows this uh, authentication mode to SQL and Windows authentication mode. But currently, you are just a public viewer of this instance, and you don't have authentication permissions to change these previous settings into the SQL Server. So now I will show you. So now I will show you how to reset the SA password, how to reset uh, the SA password, and login into the SQL Server by taking the when we have an access to the physical server then only we can do that otherwise we cannot able to do that so that's why in real time accessing physical server is a one of the uh, crucial thing so there uh, sometimes windows administrators will restrict some restricts permissions okay so now uh, I will show you how I did first I rechange the windows authentication modes after that I have changed the reset as password but this video is limited to how we can change the authentication mode using windows history for this open window press windows R button and type break it okay click ok so after that you need to click HK, uh, local mission okay software expand software here you have expand button so now we need to press select the microsoft select the microsoft here expand it again again you need to select the microsoft product a microsoft sql server come down so here you are having microsoft again you need to expand so now here i am having n number of sql servers see uh, 15 16 19 now my instant my int i want to change to sql server 2022 is my instance name okay i need to change for this instance so now what i am going to do so now now i need to select that uh, sql server 2022 okay expand it and now here you are having ms sql server select on that now you will see the login mode so one is for uh, authentication mode and two is for mixed mode authentication sql plus windows authentication mode press ok and uh, just minimize this window so refresh it and go to properties and go to security but see we have changed to the sql server authentication mode but in order to connect to change this effect we need to restart the sql server instance you know right how to restart the sql server just go to the configuration manager here here select sql server 2022 where is the 2022 it is not 20 oh sorry i have opened 2019 monitor right so that's the reason i am unable to view sql server configuration manager sql server 2022 see now if you open sql server 2020 manager you are able to see the services and everything so okay uh, stay here either mm. server okay now we need to restart the here so in a, even though it will show in the authentication mode but in order to take that effective we need to restart the instance okay So once you restart the SQL Server, refresh it 
and you can try to using authentication mode here okay right now i don't have any authentication mode but i will create you okay for showing how to login okay hey, see so password test one two three password is also one two three uh, one two three and i am disabling that so sysadmin just for, for temporary purpose okay now go to authentication mode uh, test one two three password is also one two three click connect see now i'm able to connect uh, using sql server authentication mode so this is how you need to change when you are unable to change the authentication mode using ssms i hope uh, the, you may like this video thank you bye